Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> From Stonham Barnes. Welcome to a lovely, beautiful, gorgeous new day. It's lovely. It's lovely. Excited today. We weren't sure if we were saying it right yesterday. You said Stonham. I, I said Stonham. Yeah, I think that's just probably the way I've always said it. It's Stonham. It's yeah. Stonham. So Stonham. you've said it right. Yeah. I got it right. Yeah. So we're at Stonham Barnes. We'd just like to quickly say thank you to Neil and Pam who came to see us this yeah, morning. Yeah, lovely couple. Thank you. Especially um, came to see us. Apparently there's a, three people already booked in um, because of our video last night. Yeah, so and many thanks to them. That's we'll, not even including this couple here. That's come specially as well. Looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, this is Neil and Pam. And a dog. They've come yeah. because of us. Yeah. So we're going to have a nice chat with them later on. Yeah, so again, if you'd like to come and join us for the weekend or just enjoy your weekend, this is the place to be. Stun and Barnes. <laughs> Big uh, reenactment on this weekend. Get yeah. yourselves here. Link in description. Yes. So we're going to give you a tour of the campsite now, a tour of what's yes. available. There's so much to do and see. We're not going to get it all done in one video. We're I can't not. Guess we're not. We will. Definitely no. not. So <laughs> let's crack on. Where should we start? I don't even know where to start. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, let's. oh. oh, oh. oh. Make a <laughs> oh we've got I tried to get you some John Smiths, but Morrison's didn't have any. Oh, well, see you later. <laughs> right, so I'll crack on. No John Smiths, not interested. Uh, just quickly come and say hello to the dogs. Hello, Abby and Betsy. Look at big smile on your face. Hello. We love free dogs. Free dogs, that's why we uh, like to meet people on campsites. Just noticed they've got a lot of stickers on there, but not ours, so we'll sort that out later. Right, let's crack on with this uh, this tour. Yes. We, we will get on this, we will get on this tour. Yeah. So there is a hundred pitches at the moment. It's still a work in progress. Yep. They've just put all these in this winter. All the electrics. Each pitch is massive. They are Big massive. Big enough. Yep. Should have shown that Mazzy in the uh, when we were on our pitch, but yeah. from there to there, that's huge. Yeah. Like you can see our van, Anna's awning, and there's still there must be five meters over here. So really, really good. At the other side of us, there is the foot golf, which we will be playing. And normal golf. And normal golf. And actually, there's actually been so many groups of Lads. youngsters playing there. <laughs> yeah. Long, uh, yesterday evening and all today. Yeah, lots of It's a of very lads. busy place. And I heard them playing at about, I'm sure it was about 8 o'clock last night they were still playing. Yeah, having a bit of fun. So it must be open yeah. all day. Yeah. Uh, Wi-Fi. Oh, there, yeah. There yeah, is Wi-Fi here. here. All over, actually, dotted. One there, there, one yeah. there, one there, one there, one there. Apparently the Wi-Fi is going on before the school term starts, so in I the next couple of weeks. I think it's two weeks that's uh, going to be all reconnected. Yeah, so you're going to yeah. have good Wi-Fi. It's 25 MBS, uh, which yeah. is very good, very good. So Lots of water points all over the place. Yeah, we'll show you the facilities in a bit. Yeah. But I want to just get straight up here because we still haven't seen them, no. Mazzy. <laughs> We've got like train and fire engines up here. And apparently kids climb on them. Yeah, uh, it's part of the play area. And it's to, part for of the kids a play to area. Enjoy. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to this myself, and I'm not a kid. <laughs> so we have got uh, showers and toilets up there near the office. Yes. We just found another one. One there. Up here, with bins. And I'm seeing also another block over there as well. So there's plenty here. The thing is, you see, they've got 80 pitches all available now. Yep. But there's going to be another 100 on this area. Yeah. This is going to be a huge site. It is. It's up and coming. Um, work in progress. Work in progress, sorry, that's the word. So let's go check this one out. Yeah. So you've got ladies' toilets, men's toilets, and showers. ladies' and men's showers. Yeah. Let's go check them out. You can't come in, Mazzy. I don't want to go in. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six uh, cubicles, loads of urinals, loads of uh, six sinks. I'm sure it's the same on the ladies. Yeah, I'm guessing exact same. We've got disabled toilets. 
that's good, isn't it? And then you've got showers, so you've got ladies' showers to the left, yeah, gents mm. to the right, and a disabled one in the middle. So yeah, three men's showers. Very good, you know, very clean. Well, they're brand new, aren't they? They're brand new. Yeah. I don't think anyone's ever actually had a shower in any of them, yeah? Here is the disabled one. Very nice, very clean. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I have a thing about this. So when, when I initially saw this, it did say men's and ladies showers. Now, I'm one that don't like to mix. So when you do come just through that main door, you are separated. Yeah. But maybe when they do maybe build a more permanent structure for this, they could separate it. Might be a good idea, mightn't it? Yeah, keep ladies away from men. Yeah. You know, we're stuck in a motorhome <laughs> with them all weekend. <laughs> Please, just give us as toilet time to ourselves. I'm quite particular <laughs> with my privacy like that, especially if you've got little girls, little children going in and out. I think that does need to be separated. If they do ever renew these... Well, kind of that's what I was going to say. It's all spotlessly clean. Yes. Just, it's got everything you need. Yeah, it's like brand new in there. But we don't want it in containers, really. No. Not as a permanent solution. Yeah. But I'm sure they're not planning on this being the permanent end. No. You want no. a nice wooden cabin building, I'm don't you? I'm guessing it was just maybe temporarily there until they get round to refurbishing it, yeah. redoing, reconstructing it, maybe. But, yeah. Know, it's all there, it's working, yep. it's clean. Uh, they've got all the gas set up, you've got a bin there, sorted. It'll do Brilliant. for now, it'll do for now. Come on, we get to the best bit. Now. Yeah, can we please <laughs> get to the train and the fire engines? Don't know the full story on this, but the man who owns the site, I believe he collected these. He's a bit it's of a collector. It's a real one, is it? Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I thought it was wooden, like, built. No. It's a real one. Um, yeah, it is. It's got all like the old beams and stuff in there. Yeah, apparently, I think there's a museum on the site as well, which is oh, yes. part of his collection. Yes. So let's have a look. You're not allowed to climb on the train. Not the train itself. But you can climb on them. Let's, oh yeah, it is a proper working train. That's cool. <laughs> well, it's not working, is it? But you know what I mean. It was once upon a time. So it's a, an old shunter. I don't yeah. know if it's a class 08. It's even on a, it's even actually actually on like a bit of a track down here as well, which is quite cool. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, used to be a sp train spotter. I'd say that's a class 08, but I'm not sure. This looks brand new, look. Or is it steam? No, it's a steam one. I don't know, anyway. Anyway, yeah. yes. This looks brand new. Isn't this really good area for the kids? It's lovely. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing and I'm hoping there's going to be more things for them maybe, to do in here. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say, maybe a little there? swing. A there's little bound swing to be. There's step. so much space yeah. for more things. And a bench so the parents can sit down and watch the kids. That'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. And maybe a McDonald's, Mazzy. <laughs> right, let's just have a look around this side because the light's a bit better. Yeah, very nice. You know, brand spanking new. I bet no kids even climbed on that yet, Mazzy. Don't know, yeah, I don't look it. But I'll tell you something you can climb on and enjoy. Look at these. Ooh. These are part of them, his collection too, aren't they? Bedford. I wonder Long how old they are. Oh, look it. Well, it says Ston and Barnes on it, look. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, look inside there, that's brilliant. How oh, lovely. It? Now, you can't get in it, unfortunately. No. <laughs> we have been on one before, we haven't we? We actually have, yeah. I've, and yeah. I've stood at the back of one here with a hose and a helmet on, and I did look particularly cool. And then beside it, you've also then got like an old fire. Uh, oh, it's still an old fire engine. An old, is that an army one? I don't know, or is that just the colour of it? That looks very old, doesn't it? Yeah. With the old ladder on there, I'd say that's like 60s, maybe. Okay, very cool, very cool. So, yeah. Yeah, you can try and get it going if you want, if you come here, but uh, I don't think you'll manage. Because I'm an expert and I couldn't get it going. Very nice. It's 
lovely they are put there for the kids to enjoy, let alone the adults and whatever. So that's a nice part of his collection that he's placed there, isn't he? Mm. I like that. Yeah. Don't know what that's going to be, but... Oh, is that another block? We thought that was another block. No, at the moment it's just three containers oh, back right, there, yeah. but there is a gas point, so maybe that's going to be another <laughs> another shower place or something, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Because they have put a concrete base in there. Right, the wigwams. Yes. Um, not going to go into them today. Not today. Because we did it yesterday. <laughs> Here's a quick clip. Here's the clip from yesterday because it was open yesterday and we got to go inside. Check it out. So we're just checking out this wigwammy poddy. What Tent. would you call this? This I don't know. tenty thing. Yes. They've been doing a photo shoot today, so this one is open at the moment, so we can have a good look in. It's all dressed lovely. Let's have a look. So there's oh. what? One, two, three, four. There's six of these on here. They're all on lovely decking. I'm absolutely loving the decking. Brilliant. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So you could have a family in here, two kids and a mum and dad. Brilliant, isn't it? How lovely. How lovely. I've always wanted to be in one of these. What are these called? A wig bam? Pods. A I think they're called pod? pods, aren't they? Yeah. I don't know, because some pods are wooden. Yeah, it might be a wigwam. Might yeah. be wigwams. Absolutely beautiful. It's so nice, isn't it? I do like that though. You know, when you're in bed and you can hear that wind just on the tent. I love being in a tent. Yeah. It's got a special noise yeah, it's got and that feel flappy. about it. Yeah. What would you know? You've never been in a tent in your life. I've been in big ones, not like a one man one, no. I wonder what these are then. Are these like sheds? Uh, Toilets, I mean. Maybe it's where your garden furniture is. No, oh, no, they're locked. No, you've got a little catch up here, look. All right. Oh, it's no. still... Oh, no, down here, look. All right, keep going. We'll get there. We'll get there in the end. Oh, we're in. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we've got more. We've got more. Oh, my gosh. OK, so your pod <laughs> has got a little kitchen area. Oh, wow. Well, oh, no, it's not a fridge. It's a cupboard. Covers. With all your plates and your you, knives and You forks. do actually have an ice box. A nice box. Ice packs available from campsite office free of charge. That's good. Okay, so does this belong to this um, TP10? I would guess we so, Mazza. I would guess so. It's not going to be communal, is it? They haven't all got them, no. There's only two Ooh. here. Ooh. Or have they? They have, Mazza. They've all got one, yeah. Let's There's two there, there and there'll be one up there. there. Yeah, oh, so that one's locked. <laughs> they've all got them as well, that's really nice. Yeah. So they have actually been doing a photo shoot here today, I'm guessing for like the website or something like that. And it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> it's and all brand new. You've got your own seating area. Yep. You've got uh, lights above there, so you can sit out here at night. Look at the you lights out. over your table your little kitchen area and your bed and your decking yeah and, and yeah, the view. View. you haven't got any if you've got kids or dogs plenty of room in it <laughs> very nice yeah. very nice so that's the six wigwams teepees tents <laughs> bell tents whatever you'd like to call them lovely um they? you'd have to look on the website to see what they're calling them but very nice inside, beautiful. They look all spangly brand new, mm. don't they? They are. Yeah. They are. <laughs> right, in the corner here. Now, they were going to open this up for us, but uh, we can't find Stuart for the key. So we'll just have a wander around, see what we can see. This is, what, a shepherd's hut? Shepherd's hut, yeah. I think they're calling it's it. Log, log cabin. It's like a lodge. Yeah. Away will, from everybody. We will be getting the key to poke our heads in at some point. Yeah. So. Yeah. We'll be back. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. The Shepherd's Lodge. So we're guessing that is the kitchen, like uh, on the wigwams over there. I don't know. You've got a bench. Lovely step up here. They seem to have their own little kitchen, actually. Do they? Yeah. Look how cute that is. They have. They've got their own kitchen. Don't know how well this picture's coming out. We might have to take you in some at some point. 
Lovely bed at the back. It's definitely bigger in the inside than it looks on the outside, isn't it? Shepherd. So I'll tell you what it is. It's giving me the impression of being on a, a caravan. You know the old-fashioned yes. caravans? Because they yes. always have the bed at the back like yeah. that. Yeah. Very nice. Shed of the year, runner-up. Cabins and summer houses. Mm. Well, turn around, look at the view you'd get from sitting here, look. What a beautiful pitch you'd have here. How lovely. And this is what we've been saying yesterday, I think. Although there is so much to do within the grounds of Stonham Barns, the campsite itself is actually very peaceful. Yes. You can't hear any noise over there. There was 150 yes. bikers last night. Didn't we even hear them. Didn't hear them at all. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get over to see them, which is a fantastic event that happens every second Thursday of the month. Two, two, twice a month. Yeah, twice. Yeah, Twi second, two Thursdays every, every yeah, month or that's something. That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we missed that. But we didn't hear them. 150 hear bikers, them. and we didn't hear them. So that's how much peace you're going to get on this campsite. <laughs> there is a storage area here. Uh, if you want to leave your caravan or motorhome over the winter or whenever. Yeah. Don't know the costs on that or anything, but no. handy to know. Um, we're actually going to be speaking to someone from the sales team at some point. He wants to come and meet yes, us, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yes, yes. <laughs> be interesting. <laughs> we'll end up buying probably one of those... Um, what lodges the lodges there's also actually lodges down that way for sale and hopefully we're going to get over to see them there's yeah. fishing and stuff as well so that's yes. on a separate bit down there um just also just quickly wanted to mention as well uh tenters are welcome here as well yes tenters um, are welcome yep in fact, Always welcome. <laughs> there's a few coming tonight because of the reenactment some of the people from the reenactment history alive i think it's called i think they're going to be down here in this area but there's not gonna be too many of them as you can see look at all the spaces available get yourselves here get yourselves here are you having a good time Brilliant. <laughs> was very well signposted i noticed when we were coming here yes <laughs> yes <laughs> campsite massive sign because the thing is you have to come through like the village to get to this you know the the, yeah. the stonham barns villagey bit Mm -hmm. um, and it's quite big, so you could easily get lost, but there's a lot of good signs. Um, Elson Point, we have an Elson Point there. Yeah, that's That's good. all set up. I bet no one's used that yet either. I'm echoing here, Mazzy. <laughs> We're <laughs> echoing. It's all that new. This is your main office. Where you come and check in. Village store. We went there yesterday. Um, okay, opening times. So January, I think January is the only month this campsite is closed. Yes. So it's an 11, 11 month season, which is fantastic. I found another event. What, here? Coming soon. Right, what is it? Uh, it's in July, 15th to Sunday, Sunday the 17th of July. Gone to Earth Festival. I don't know how well you can see that because of the light. But you've got Belly and Morris dancers. Oh, brilliant. Clever crafters. It says, the best of old Britain brought into the 21st century. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Food, Tra drinks, many stalls. Traditional folk music with a modern twist. I bet that's a gr brilliant oh, weekend. Oh, yeah, I bet that's brilliant, yeah. Right, uh, there's two ways to get to it, isn't there? Yesterday we yeah. walked all the way round, but we're going to go this way. Yeah, this is your little shortcut way. And this is the way to the... Um, you mean... Yeah. Showground. Yes. When there's an event on. Yes. There is a sports bar. That's run by a guy called Danny, apparently. He's got a really cool name. Yeah. That way is to the fishing lake mine. Ah, right. Which I'm sure we will be passing if we came back round this way. We'll definitely show yeah. you that before the day's out. Yeah. So, this, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be one long video. I know. Or a couple of videos, <laughs> because this definitely is going to be well over half an hour. Yes. Because we haven't even been yet. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. We've been to a lot of good sites. This is, for me, is the best. It has everything here, isn't it? Well, we think so. 
We did have a we quick walk up. We had a little up, wander for yesterday and it was to incredible. get our bearings. Yeah. And what I really liked about the place is most things were actually open. Yes. Even on a Thursday. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whereas most campsites, they tend to keep things closed until the weekend, yeah, don't they? Yeah, which is unfortunate, I find. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, there are some things closed, but uh, they will be opening them. So this is the proper golfing course. I think it's a pitch and putt. Oh no, th this might be the football. I don't know. Oh no, that's the golf because it's got yellow flags and then you've got blue ones, which I think is your foot golf. We'll find out more about that anyway, because we're going to be playing. This is where the tee off from. Very nice. There's the lads about to play foot ball. What is it? Foot golf. So that's where we're going to be teeing off from at some point, Mazza. We, sh we should do that today. Yes. Right, turn them around. Let's show them what, you what you're initially seeing when you come here. Well, I don't really know what this bit is. This might be the seasonal pitches. This might be something to do with the live weekend at the weekend as well. Yeah, but Stuart did say the seasonal pitches were around this oh, side. Yeah. They are moving them over there yes. eventually. These yes. might be seasonal. Yeah. In fact, Stuart might be one of these. You've got a fun fairy thing over there. We'll go into that later as well. So this is McRory's Sports Bar. As I said, it's not open today. I'll go into that in a second. Yeah. And there's a reason for that. But a quick look inside. Look, we'll have a good look tomorrow and we'll come and have a chat with the manager, Danny. And actually, it is opened. So, the thing is, they're waiting for the licence to be able to open it yes. all week. I think that's what it's, it's about. It's on its way. <laughs> At the moment, they can only open it Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. So, what they've done to get around the law, <laughs> there's always a way around it. I think the idea is you can buy your drinks from outside yeah. and take, and them, take in, them in. We think. Yes. No, yeah, that's what we're, I'm fully aware of. Okay. But, um, yes, so, but just bear with that because only in a week or so when they get their licence through, whenever that is, yeah. very, it's up and coming. I and mean, I've just poked my head in there and it smells brand new. It looks I think lovely. that's still a work in progress as well. Yeah. It smells brand new. Oh, next to this lovely little. Wonderful yeah. lake. See the lily pads. Yeah, there, look at though. the flowers and, and the lilies. Uh, how lovely. I wonder if they're plastic. They look too good to be true. <laughs> right, what else have we got? We're going to head up here. Don't spoil all this yet. Let's okay. head up this way. Okay. And we can make our way back because I think this is now where your main showground is, is it? Oh, more toilets. Look, there's plenty of toilets, toilets bins, and showers and stuff, isn't there? Ladies' toilets around the corner. Yeah, they're setting up now for the weekend, aren't they, for the event? Yes. Oh, look at that, Mazzy, it's for sale. Oh! <laughs> look at that, I want that. <laughs> I want the tractors, look. £3,200, anyone want one? And the tractors. £2,000 for a tractor, Mazzy. Do you know what I think this is? Part of the antique shop, which... Do you think so? I do, because it says um, Aspel Antiques. So we'll go into right. that. I think that's uh, something to do with here. Mazzy, you can have a Ferguson Ted 20 for £1,500. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the showground for the yes. History Alive, which is happening this Saturday, Sunday. Get yourselves here. There's plenty of tickets left, and it's going to be yes. brilliant. £10 a ticket, don't forget. £10 a ticket. All children free, I think, under the age of 12. Ooh, don't quote um, us on that, but maybe. Don't quote me on that, but I'm sure it's all under 12, which is fantastic. And there's going to be everything here. <laughs> there's loads of shower blocks here. I don't need to be going into this one. <laughs> Dog and cat baths from 12 quid. How I'm cool is that? it's like a grooming place, isn't it? You, you are going to be surprised at what's on this place. The it's... Pet Grooming Bar. Oh, there you go. Honestly, if you come here and you've got a guinea pig under your arm, you know, a lot of people will have. <laughs> Bring it in here and they'll look after it. I think that's lovely. Right, Lost Children Point. That's because they do have a lot of events here, don't they? And like I said, big rallies as well. And, and it um, is a very, very children friendly Oh, it is. And place. dog. And dog. Um, hol these are the holiday lodges we were just talking about. Yeah, well, we're going to go show them some of them. Yeah. Fishing lakes. Everything works. Yeah, that'll be nice. You can actually buy them from a. I think we just saw a sign from £60,000. You can yeah. buy a lodge. Yeah. 
Oh, what's that there? Look. Oh, that's the owl sanctuary. Unfortunately, that's not open at the minute, is it? Is it not? The owl sanctuary. I thought it was. Oh, I don't think it is. I think it is. Is it? <laughs> oh, okay. So what have we else got? Hang on, missed? hang on. <laughs> Let's, you've mentioned it now. So this is the Suffolk Owl Sanctuary Raptor Hospital. So it's like a little hospital for owls. Oh. So they look after the poorly owls. And you can go in there and... I think it's... I can't remember the price. But you can go in there and look at all the owls and it obviously helps towards what they're doing. And it's got its own gift shop as well. Countryside gift shop. There's something there. I'm not sure really what it is. I'll tell you what this is, Mazzy. Oh, tuning. Car tuning. Such yeah. a random thing to be here. Yeah. Yeah, this is car tuning. Now, we have a tuning box in our motorhome, don't we? Oh, we do, yes. And yes. we love it. Yeah, absolutely. And someone did say the other day we should mention that because the price of diesel nowadays... Yes. Getting a tuning box will actually save you yes. a lot of money absolutely, in diesel. Absolutely, yeah. I think we save 10%. Yeah, um, I'm not sure, but... Um, so getting a tuning box is a very good idea. Something to consider. Maybe go back to our video and check it out. And look, they even have a hair and beauty uh, salon place. Look, that's brilliant. Hair it? and beauty. Get, come and get your hair cut. And tanning. Oh, my yeah. God. I'm never going to see you this weekend, am I? <laughs> that's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> so see what we mean? It has got everything. Yes. We've hardly touched on it. Yeah. And already you can get your, a tuning box put in. Yeah, your hair done. Your dog washed. Go see the owls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, an event on this weekend over there, it's incredible. You don't need to leave the campsite, no, do you? No, definitely just not. Amazing. And I think that's the idea. Yeah, yeah. They want to keep you here, and they're going to keep you here because you won't <laughs> want to leave. Oh, look, even sweet little machines. Oh, oh no, it's dog, oh, it's food. dog food. Duck food. Fish, duck and fish food. So you can feed the fish in there. Oh, I see fish. Duck. Duck and fish food. Do you well, see this look, big goldfish down there. Oh look. yeah, I can see, oh you can see the fish. Yeah, some There's of them some are big. big ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh look, here comes a little duck, look. Oh, and a tiny little duckling. <laughs> oh, do you have to Oh look, it's walking, look at it. It's walking oh. on lily pads. Oh, where's his mummy? Oh, <laughs> how beautiful is that? He knows there's a feeding station here, doesn't he? Yeah, I bet. Beautiful. We're going to interrupt this video here just to say yes. thank you to some very special people. Yay! Can I read them out? Of course you can. <laughs> We've got four super thanks. Wow. A uh, big massive thank you to Teresa Wolvet. Teresa Wolvet, thank you very much. Thank you, Marie Pedretti. Thank you very much, Marie Pedretti. Thank you, Susan Lovian. Thank you very much, Susan Lovian. And thank you, Paul Young. And thank you very much, Paul Young. I'm sorry if I can't read your names out properly. It makes you laugh, if nothing else, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, a big, massive thank you to Huge you. Huge thank you for your yes. support. Thank you. Yes. Back to the video. So we're just looking outside the uh, Owl Sanctuary. Yeah. So there's your prices. And it's basically... It's to help the owls, isn't it? Yeah. You know, this is like a hospital for owls. Yeah. So yeah. that's what you've got to it's think all, of when you're paying for it. It's, not, it's like a charity thing, but these are your prices, look. And they actually do have displays of them flying I as told well. you they would. Yeah, you did say. And they are open, sorry. I had an impression it wasn't open, so I'll take that back. They are open. So they have flying <laughs> displays. Um, yeah. And they even have a refill station. You can fill your bottles up if you And it's a big gift shop it. as well. And a massive gift shop yeah. in there. Impressed. Yeah. So here's inside the gift shop. Just to give you an idea. Do you want a cuddly toy, Mazzy? They are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good, isn't it? So you can get drinks and stuff when you come out. And, and it's yeah. all to help the owls out. Look, flying yeah. displays daily, Easter to September. So get yourselves in here. All donations appreciated. Right, so just talking to Nick, the sales manager. Yes. Um, <laughs> apparently there's a open weekend. Weekend, this weekend. Well, it's now, today, Friday, oh, yes. yeah. and tomorrow, Saturday. So open weekend where I'm guessing all the lodges are going to be open, the yeah. static holiday caravans homes. and the holiday homes. Yeah. So you can get down here and have a good look at them. Yeah, and we're going to be popping in to have a look ourselves. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> it's told us... Um, 
to give him a ring when we're in that area and I think he's going to open a few of yeah. them up so we can take you that in for a good fantastic. look around. Yep, so are you interested? <laughs> right, we just have to quickly leave the tour yes. because we need to go look at the teapot pottery. And we've hardly touched it, so please bear with us, we'll be back. <laughs> um, apparently this place is world famous for its teapots. Yeah. And through the week you can actually watch them making them. Yeah. Including right now. So we're going to see how they make the teapots. So the teapot, 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 tea, 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 teapot, tea room, it's now open. Look at this. I'm guessing this is one of them bouncy things for kids to go on. That's actually free. Is it? Bouncy pillar free for the kids. Sir. Ah, so that's what they meant by a bouncy pillow. I wasn't sure what one was. There you go. Look at the lovely teapot they've got. I know, I know I'm looking forward to seeing these. And you've got a, ta you know, for your toddler kids, a little fair for them, that's nice. Yeah. It's closed at the moment, but I'm sure it'll be open for oh, the weekend. Oh, it'll be open this weekend, yeah. And here is the teapot pottery, teapot room. So we're inside the teapot, teapot, tea, tea, tea. The teapot, teapot tea, tea, room. How do you say it? Carters of Suffolk, the teapot pottery. World famous, apparently. Yes. Absolutely. Why is it world famous? Because um, it's been in existence in one form or another for over 40 years. And oh. we sell teapots all throughout the world. Ah. Wow. And have done uh, for a considerable time. Do you do, I'm noticing these over here, do you do like custom made ones? Not, uh, no. not specifically custom made ones because of the cost involved in making moulds. If we can adapt ah. one of our existing moulds, then right. we can do bespoke stuff. But so all this is made from moulds? Yep. So anyone can do their job then? No. You don't have to have a skill? I don't, I don't quite think so, no. What's the biggest teapot you've ever made? Um, I don't know that we've got <laughs> one in with 10 down in strength. Oh really? Size isn't everything, Mazzy. <laughs> So there's a little area behind us here where yes. the kids can come and make. Not just kids. Come and do. Th oh, come on. I'm not doing it. <laughs> so you get to choose your. Yeah, you can choose your item and then. That's cool. Uh, oh, and I and see. Paint it. Yeah, you paint it and then they glaze it. We've seen stuff. shops which do that, haven't we? Yeah, the mugs yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But all of the stuff that we paint here is made by ourselves. Not oh, bought, right. Not bought in from uh, China or whatever. Right. We and actually yeah. make it. Fantastic. Wow. I must apologise to you guys. If you're getting flickering, it's our camera. It's not flickering in here. It's just LED lights do it every time. Can we show the array of selection, babe? Some of these Some are, of these are incredible. Look, you've got narrow boats, camper vans. Look at all the old tractors. Oh, these are lovely. Yeah. You know, why didn't we ever have anything like this? What is kids? Yeah. Why, did we, why does everyone just have that boring little teapot? What about the plastic ones? <laughs> Go and look at these ones. Look, these are all cute, aren't they? They're amazing. I love those. So how do you, do you paint these yourselves then? They're all uh, handmade and hand painted here in pottery. Don't touch. <laughs> so what do you do? You, you paint this and then glaze over it or something? Right. What Jill's doing over there at the moment is making the moulds there with uh, traces. The moulds are there. You put in slip um, clay into it. It dries off, creates a, 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 a case there. When it's dried out enough, she'll release it from the mould. We'll allow it to dry. Once it's dried it's in, uh, down a, a lot, because you can see some up there are uh, Oh, yeah. A very dark grey colour, oh, yeah. and then you've got the yeah. lighter ones. Once they go to a lighter uh, grey, then they can come and be painted. Once they've been painted, they go in the kiln for firing. Right. That goes up to about 1200 degrees. Oh, wow. Um, they come out, and if they've got things on it like that, yeah. dial is actually got platinum on it. Oh, oh right. Um, is that what I noticed? This yeah, that's copper gold. look? Yeah, it's gold. You're getting a lot for your money then, isn't you? <laughs> uh, and then it'll go and be fired again. Now I've just noticed you've got uh, about 12 soldiers down there without yeah. heads on. Yeah. What's going on there? Well, we're just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the heads are actually made 
and uh, we'll uh, marry them up and they're going to our stock. Very nice. Very, nice. Yeah. Very smelly kilns. Very smelly, aren't they? So, well, yeah. But <laughs> I suppose you get work. used to it. You get used to it yeah. after yeah. a while. Yeah. So, carters of Suffolk handmade teapots in England, get yourselves to Stonham Barns and come and take a look. I'm presuming you're online as well. Yeah, yes, cartersofsuffolk.com. Check them out. We take it out, we then cut around it, clean it up, we leave it, we then fettle it, which is all the seams taken off and cleaning it all up. Yeah. Then it's hand painted, then it's spray glazed, then it's packed into the kiln, out of the kiln. And it's a lot of man. Yeah. There's a lady over here, right? Apparently it takes a week to make one teapot and she's trying to tell us how hard it is just to justify her taking a week to make a teapot. No, no, if her I'm... boss is watching this, get someone else who's a lot quicker. <laughs> one teapot a week? I could make 50. <laughs> one a week? No, what I was trying That's to... a very expensive teapot. Yes. That's what I make. Well, I, exactly what I was trying to say is that the prices right, here are actually cheap yeah. and reasonable and it doesn't take into the account the hours of work that actually goes into these. Yeah. So, yeah, but good on you, bye. Well done. Can I get into this? Because we've just been talking <laughs> yes, about this. Yes. This is the open weekend, which um, we are just talking about. Luxury holiday homes um, for... Sat oh, it's, it's saying Saturday and Sunday, Mazzy. I thought he said the weekend. He said Friday, Saturday, I thought. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so all this weekend, 10am till 4pm, an open weekend. Get yourselves here. Come and have a look inside the lodges. Next to a fishing lake. Look. Next Beautiful. to a fishing lake, yeah. yeah. Can you imagine that? We will be going there. And if you leave a deposit... <laughs> I'm laughing about this one, I'm sorry. Um, if you leave a deposit, right, on any holiday home, and they're about £60,000, some of these... You get free lunch. You get a free coffee. You get free oh, no, you get lunch. a free lunch. You get a free lunch. <laughs> oh, you get a free coffee. Anyway, just come for the coffee. It's free. Well, There's well, always one. I was just going to say, while I'm here... Just it is free, so I'll let her. <laughs> I remember going on these as kids. Oh, it's boiling. <laughs> I bet it is. I don't want to get on it from... Oh, can you...? No. I'm not helping you. You get yourself into these situations, you get yourself oh, out of them. Oh, they're fun. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been on one, to be oh, honest with I you. Oh, I have. They're brilliant. You know, I do like to go on pillows, but for completely different reasons. So outside the teapot, pot, pottery, pottery, top, top, pot, teapot place, did, I just saw this land train queue here. Not seen a land train. That'd and be cool. We'll be here this weekend. That's pretty cool, isn't yes, it? Yes, brilliant. And this is Bloomfield's Amusements. I'm guessing it's this bit, is it? Traditional yeah. children's fairground here on the green at Stone and Barns. Food court, burgers, slides, rides, prize every time, hot dogs, candy floss, hot drinks, chick, blah, 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 blah. I can't wait to see all this up tomorrow, Mazzy. I'm guessing it yeah, will be. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a fun weekend. They've even got a candy-like stall thing in there. I'm very interested to see how busy it gets on a weekend. Yeah. Because it's very quiet at the moment. Well, to be fair, when we had a little sort of sneak peek yesterday, I mean, there was a few here, wasn't there? Oh, yeah, there's people coming, yeah. you know, especially to play, like, the golf and things like that. Yeah. There are people here. You don't have to actually be staying on the campsite to come and enjoy this. So no, you know, no. You've got little car parks all over the place where you can just come play, have a get, play golf or something, mm -hmm. or come for a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> which takes us on to the golf, which yes. is here. This is the crazy adventure golf. I think it's all of it, isn't it? I don't know if it's... Oh, it might be the main one in as well. It's the golf park, Mazzy, the golf park. Oh, I see. Yes, this is where then we come to play um, foot golf. Foot golf. Right, yeah. So there's the footballs. I'll be having that one later on. <laughs> um... Just having a little wander around. This is your adventure golf entrance. Oh, sorry, I have to interrupt. I think this is where the new football uh, golf is going to be because although it's in that golf bit at the moment near our van, yeah. this is where it's cut. They're trying to adapt all this at the minute ah. for, so that's going to be specific. Football, football. Yeah. Why are we struggling to say foot know. golf today? We can't talk today. Foot golf coming soon. <laughs> So yeah, that's going to be down here. There's still there's a digger over there. It's probably still building it. Yeah. So isn't it beautiful? It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. 
you know, yeah. crazy golf, foot golf, and real golf. I'm guessing you start at the other side. Because I've seen some caddies over there or something. It's a great day out here, isn't it? You know, instead of walking around a garden centre for the day, come here. Hey, Mazza. <laughs> What? There is a garden centre here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We've still got loads to show, haven't we, believe it or not. And we've not left the, the site, have we? It's all on the We're still site. within probably 300 metres of our, our van. It's all connected to the campsite is my thing, isn't it? This ain't like the next door village. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's just take a little look at this yeah. uh, golf from the side. I'm hoping we're going to get a game, but we'll see. Yeah. We have got a lot on this weekend, but... Yeah. That looks beautiful. Yeah. Well kept. Sunny. Right up our street. Yeah, it's well kept, isn't it? Mm. Right, let's... I think we've got all that side to do now. Yeah, let's get over there. <laughs> So this is going on a lot longer than we thought because yes. it's a lot bigger than we thought. So we're <laughs> going to split this into yes. two. Come back for part two. Come back for part two. Yes. And see the. Mm -hmm. In fact, shall we give them both tonight? Could do. If they're lucky. Go on. We'll give you click. two videos tonight click. if you click like. And let us know in the comments if you want the second. Comment. One. Yeah. And subscribe. <laughs> and then we'll give you part two. Yeah. Catch you all later. Bye. Bye. Bye.